Well, school zones in Nevada are 15 miles per hour, and obviously there's a big risk to all the students when drivers speed or drive distractedly. And that is the case outside of a local high school. Kai Sisson tells us where pedestrians are tired. They're tired of them. We're talking about dangerous drivers. This stretch of Rob Drive in front of McQueen High School has three crosswalks, but no pedestrian crossing lights. And according to students, gets especially crowded before and after school. But many drivers are not careful to stop for pedestrians. One student told us he's nearly been clipped while crossing. This lady, just out of the blue, making the turn, uh, goes pretty much full speed and doesn't recognize me until about two feet away from my, uh, her bumper. This is a 15 mile per hour school zone in front of McQueen during school hours, but there is only one sign on each side of the road and non-flashing crosswalk signs. Here at Hug High School, they have both lights for pedestrian crosswalks and 15 mile per hour school zones. So why do some schools have signage with lights and others don't? Depending on the results of whatever road safety audit or evaluation that's undergone in that school zone. Then it goes back to the entities that make those decisions and budgeting and maintenance and the individual cities where the school is located. But it takes bringing it to your city council members' attention. And when it comes to speeders, Reno police want you to let them know where they are. We ask them to contact Reno Direct to put in a service request, especially in, in the event of at speeders in school zones. We can't fix the problem if we don't know about it. Covering the story, Kai Sisson, Channel 2 News. And if there is an area that you are concerned about, you can call Reno Direct to report an issue. Their number is on your screen. It is 334-INFO.